I want people to see Brennan Beckwith. I don't want them to think about my gender. Because whatever them might assume is probably wrong. And because my gender shouldn't matter. It shouldn't be a factor in how people see me as a person. As a gender-fluid teenager, clothes have always been a sore subject. When your gender doesn't match what's in your pants, your clothes become more than just clothes. Every day I'm faced with a hard decision, because the clothes I wear today will reflect my gender identity. Sometimes I feel like a girl, and I want them to see a girl. Sometimes I feel like a boy, and I want them to see a boy. Sometimes I feel like a person, and I want them to see a person. And I'm left standing in front of my closet asking myself, who is them? I try to wear clothes for myself. Clothes for myself include, but are not limited to, button-down shirts from the clearance section at Target, skinny black jeans that never fit quite right, and a tie. I like cute blouses, high-waisted floral skirts that I love to spin in. And most days, a binder. Binders suck. But all too often, the pain of dysphoria is more uncomfortable than something that is designed to constrict and flatten your boobs. My love-hate relationship with my binder perfectly represents my love-hate relationship with my identity. Somehow, my binder sets me free and constricts me at the same time. I like the color pink. I used to hate pink. I thought it was too girly. Now I think pink is perfect for me. I don't care what them thinks. I know someday I'll be attending LGBT benefit galas, award banquets, and red carpet events, and everyone will be waiting to see if I'll be wearing a classic suit with pink trim, a floral spin-worthy dress, or a kick-ass dress-slash-suit hybrid of my own design.